Ау! Мейт! Това е лозовски хир. Just wanted to show you something nice I've been working on the past few days. See the to-do list here. It's been pretty helpful. I have had it pretty much from the start of the project because I knew that there would be a whole bunch of choices in shelter. And I made a little improvement to it. Now in the gallery, you have this little section here. Look, it's a flowchart and it's interactive. It gives you like hints and stuff. It gives you a percentage of completion. It has very cool sparkles going in the background. It shows you exactly which choices you have gone through. Mm. And this is how it looks and I'm very proud of it. I wanted to make something like this ever since the start, but Shelter was my first real coding experience and I just didn't have any, any experience in doing stuff like this. Also, I knew that uh, there would be a whole bunch of uh, choices in Shelter and it would probably be easier to implement this around the end of the project when we have most of the choices. And now, now we are by the end of the project. It's not that far, far to the end. So I thought now would be the best time to do something like this. And I'm very proud of it. Of here, for example, in like the, I called it a whole bunch of flexibility for like uh, unlocks and secrets and stuff. Like this is the late afternoon choice where you can go listen to the stories of the prospector so it's that the that scene with teak and max you can have the very first scene from shelter the the dog donk conversation but at this point in time you also have the unlockable dream sequence with barry and for as long as you don't have it unlocked it is here it is going to appear here once you unlock it, you can still click the note for it, even though it's hidden. And maybe I will code the hints about how to unlock it. Seven days. Mm, it will wor work on the phone. I mean, uh, the uh, the hover will not work. Like, look. On the PC, you hover, you get... Uh, a description on the side. On the phone you cannot hover so you can click and the information stays. You can uh, move around the field here. Mm. And if you want to cancel it just click on it again. There is the percentage of completion. I'm going to uh, probably split it into time, time zones. So maybe on the bottom I'll put like uh, early morning, late morning, afternoon, uh, night, uh, runes route, stuff like that. Mm, but this is how it looks right now. Also another cool feature. Uh, just so it doesn't always start at the very left side. Because, you know, it would be kind of annoying to have to keep scrolling to the right every time you load a save file. and to look something up. So I also called it in that... Oh, look, it's in the, it's in the qu quick menu here. That's really cool. And at this point in time, this is the late, late afternoon choice. If you open the paths here, it starts uh, around this time, uh, around this spot uh, in the in the flowchart. So yeah, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. I'm very happy with uh, the light effects in the background. I sometimes I just uh, like to look at it like it's a screen server or something. It looks especially nice on those empty nodes. Hmm. Okay, that's it.
I hope, I hope you will like it. I'll probably mm, post it uh, in the test build uh, for the level 3s in not too long. But uh, I'll uh, iron out a few kings before that. Uh, add many more like information boxes to uh, to some of those nodes. And yeah, let me know what you think after you get your pause on it. Oh!